My name is Guy, and today I'd like to talk to you about Woodpecker's Parallel Guide System, and you use it with your track saw to get repeatable, accurate cuts every time. Let me show you everything that comes with the Parallel Guide System. First, you have two of these main body brackets. Now, this will enable you to attach the Parallel Guide System to any Festool, Makita, or Triton track saw. Also included are four heavy-duty flip stops, eight laser-engraved dual-purpose tracks with scales, and these will extend it out to 52 inches for ripping. There's six T-track connectors for the scales. And there's also two narrow stock guides with plastic tips and metal ends, and these will enable you to rip anything less than 10 and a half inches. And there's also two of the bracket fixtures, so you can attach all this to your rails. The first step to getting this all calibrated is to take one of the main body brackets, put in one of the edge guide brackets and a couple of these T-nuts down here. And I've also located two of the rulers and you can tell which ones you need to put first because there's two arrows one right there and one right there and they're marked from 8 to 19. Now I can take the main body bracket as it's assembled here and this piece with the 8 on that end and put it all the way and butt it up into here and I'm just going to snug these for now not tight but just snug so it doesn't move around. Now I can take this assembly and slide it onto my track in the T-track on the end of it. I'm going to take two of these flip stops and with the nut facing forward I'm going to install them on this track. With the two flip stops flipped in the up position I mentioned before there's two marks. There's one at 11 5 eighths and one at 14 5 eighths. And I just want to move these over until I just split that line on those marks and then tighten this doll down. I'm going to tighten all this up and I'm going to tighten down the edge bracket first in the track and then I'm going to snug the bracket to the edge guide bracket. With one of the narrow stock guides I'm going to take the end stop and attach it like so and this is the metal one and then that's going to go through these two flip stops. I'm going to butt it all the way up against the end here and then tighten this down so this doesn't move. Now I need to take one of the plastic tips and attach it to the end of the narrow stock guide. Now I need to loosen these screws that hold the scale to the main body bracket and move it back a little bit. Now I'm going to take a known square, keep it flat against my worktop, and I'm going to place this right up against the splinter guard. Now I can slowly move this up until I just kiss that edge. Now with that all set up, all I have to do is tighten these up and my scale is calibrated to where my saw cuts. I've got both parallel guide brackets fully calibrated and installed on my long rail here. The first step in this process for me is I want to cut off about a quarter inch of this factory edge to give me a nice straight line to work with. Now the first cut I want to make on this is a rip cut at 29 and 3 eighths. The first scale I have attached here only goes up to a little over 19 and a half. So I've got the second scale here and this goes up over well, 31 and 3 quarters maybe. So using one of the track connectors, I'm going to attach this to this to give me that length I need. With the extra scale installed, I can take the flip stop come down to actually it's 29 and 5 eighths, not 29 and 3 eighths, and then lock that in position. And I'll go ahead and do the same on the other guide. With my flip stops down, I can just butt this right up against that nice clean edge and make the cut. Now I've got the panel cut in two parallel edges, 
I need to cut a perpendicular edge and this is going to be a cross cut. So I'm going to take my track and get it about where I think is square. I'm going to take a framing square, put it up against my track, push that against it and get it nice and square and I'll go ahead and make this cut. Now with this edge perpendicular to this edge, I've added two more scales to each side and I've put the flip stops at 44 and 3 8 which is my final measurement. I'm just going to butt those right up against that and make the cut. Now I'm just cutting one piece here but if you're cutting multiples and you need to have repeatability this is a great system. There's going to be times when you want to rip thin strips with your track saw. Let's say in this case an inch and a half. So what I've done is I've reinstalled these metal bars on the underneath of the rail. Now with the thin rip guide with the end cap on here butted up against my rear flip stop. I've got this rear flip stop set to that same 14 and 5 ace I used to calibrate it before. And if you look on the side of the scale there's a zero and that's exactly zero to underneath the blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the rear flip stops back to an inch and a half and I'll get inch and a half strips. Now that I have the narrow stock guide set to the right depth of cut, I've put a couple pieces of scrap underneath here just to raise these back pieces up a little bit. I'm just going to put it right on the plywood then butt it up to those two posts and go ahead and make the cut. Now just to check the accuracy, I'm at an inch and a half. So as you can see, the Woodpecker's Parallel Guide System gives you table saw-like accuracy and repeatability, well, without using a table saw. It enables you to take sheet goods, not only just break them down in more manageable chunks, but break them down into the final size that you're going to need for your project. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.